another video. And we are, we, I see say we, like there's two of me. Yeah. I am back with another video this week. It's another one of my top 10 series. And I hope you're enjoying them. There's only going to be two up so far. So, hopefully you would have enjoyed the last two that you want to watch this one. Um, also welcome back to any old subscribers and also to any new subscribers. If you didn't know, my name is Amelia. I'm a YouTuber and blogger and I am a 22 year old student and I upload Thursdays and Fridays. Thursdays and Sat Sundays, South Thailand. Thursdays and Sundays, Thursdays at 9pm and Sundays at 3pm. And so if you want to find, watch this top 10 series then keep watching as we are about to get into it. This week's top 10 series is going to be, feel like I'm in a meeting, my top 10 musicals. Now it's going to be between stage musicals and movie musicals just because I haven't been to enough stage musicals to say that they are my favourite musicals. But they're all my favourite musicals but I have seen some on DVD as well. So I've got my top 10 and I don't know if some of them are going to surprise you. Because one of them is definitely a classic. When you get to your you you'll you know, oh my god, we all loved that when we were kids. Because it is one of those ones most people would like and they just don't want to admit it. So, without all the rambling, let's just get into it. Yay! So my first favourite musical is Billy Elliot. Billy Elliot is something I have been to see in the theatres twice. And both of the time I went to my school, I went once when I was 14, it was for an activities day trip, and then I went once for, when I was 15, for my GCSE. For GCSE drama, we had to go watch it, we had no choice. So, I went to watch it for the second time. It was very entertaining, I do love it, I really love the story, I love, it's about minor strike, it's about a boy who loves to do ballet, or didn't think he would like to do ballet, but then he got pretty much stuck in his class and was trying to give the keys to the teacher, and ended up loving it but having to try and hide that from his parents but his dad and his brother because they didn't see that why he would want to do why he would want to dance why he would want to do ballet as a young boy so it's very it's very good because it's very it's pretty it's obviously in times when boys doing dancing was very not was not right not normal and very rare so when you've got a guy boy doing ballet for the ballet teachers they need to keep him because obviously it's a talent for a boy to do it but when um but for the families especially the dads they don't see it as a good thing when they want their kids to grow up to be like a boxer or fighting or be part of the mining peak group so my second one i think to no surprise to anyone who knows me especially Wicked. I have seen Wicked three times in the, in the on the stage in London. I went once when I was sixteen. It was like our end of school trip, and we went on with my form plus another form group, which our form were very close with. And it was like probably the best show I went to see at that point. I was I was I was I knew it was gonna be good because everyone went on about it and everyone was going, loads of people I knew had already gone to see it and they were like it's a really good musical and I was like okay I really really have to watch it now. I watched it for the first time and I was in awe, I fell in love with it, I fell in love with the story, I fell in love with the songs, I fell in love with the characters. I just you kind of really understand the drama between the Wicked Witch and Glinda, like the story behind them compared to what you get in Wizard of Oz. As much as I love Wizard of Oz, Wicked really gives a better detailed story about Glinda and Alphaba, which I love, not gonna lie, I really love the story, and I, I just love it, I love the songs, I literally, once I saw it at 16, it took me a while, and then from my mum's Christmas present, I, not this Christmas just gone, but Christmas, Christmas before, I paid for her to go see Wicked, um, I went to see Wicked to get Wicked together, I paid for her ticket, I paid for her train ticket, it was a really nice, just like, night out with my mum, 
she loved the show and I was so happy that in about about the day after I got back from seeing it with my mum I booked tickets to go with my best friend to see it in February last year so yeah I think it kind of shows how much I've seen everyone that I've seen it and I really want to go back again like I listened to the soundtrack the other day and I was like oh my god I really want to go back so I'm hoping the tickets aren't even that much but the cheapest tickets that I got I, uh, they do is £19.50 and I got those tickets with my best friend and they were, they were still good seats so I'm not even going to complain like I would totally do it again like, I know I want to but I, if I have a job if I get a job this summer I'll probably buy a ticket before I go back to uni next one is not a show I've not seen this on stage but I've seen the old film version but I've also seen like the tour version with Ben Foster in it, on, I have that on DVD, it's Jesus Christ Superstar, it's one of my favourite films, I love the story, I think because of me, because obviously I went to, used to go to church all my life when I was a kid, so I know the religious story around Easter, and it has a huge impact on me, I love the music from it, I love the story, and I just love watching it, I find it very, the music makes it much more upbeat, it's why I love musicals, because like, you can just start along and sing along to these music, and it's so much fun, and the story about, the Easter story is probably one of my favourite Bible stories, out there like I don't really love bible stories I don't read the bible but if I, like, if I had to choose between the Christmas story and Easter story it's definitely the Easter story I know it sounds ridiculous but I love it and this story follows I think it's called Holy Week the week before Easter Sunday but I can't exactly remember I might be wrong I haven't really been to church around that time in a long time so it's remembering that that's what I am um, what it is but I did love that film it's so, it's so good and it, because it's like watching them film live on the stage they filmed the live tour that watching that was like oh my god I really wish I was actually in the audience for that because it would have melted my heart the next one is Rent again this is no surprise I've seen the movie version of Rent and I've also seen the I the DVD of the um, final Broadway performance Um, I saw that on Rent as well and i literally loved it like seriously loved the show i love the broadway version more than i love the film i just feel like, like the rawness of them just the music no not the talking the music and there's a lot of talking in the film more than in the broadway show i love it so much i have such i feel so connected to the characters when i watch it and i'm just like oh my god i need literally love this i need this film i need to watch it over and over again i can watch it all day every day I actually love it. I remember once I sing along to all the songs in that one as well, and I love the story. It's very, really hard hitting. Like it's very, it's definitely. Really, it's hard to like not want to cry when watching it because it's sad. It's got a guy, got a, a transgender guy who suffers with AIDS, and you've got a girl who's on drugs, and it's very like, what I think is very like eye opening. It I it opens your eyes to gay relationships so you've got a female two females together it's especially in the times when it was felt like this came out it was not in the times when it was really like openly public about people being gay and it, I mean, it wasn't definitely not open about people being transgender and this sort of, there was that transgender guy so it's definitely one of those stories that's about acceptance and i think that's why i love it because it's so about so much about acceptance that it has a good story and a good meaning behind it the next one I just love because of the music is Jersey Boys. From start to finish, I've, I've only watched a film. I've not seen it on West End. I've not seen the West End recording of it. All I've seen is the DVD, the movie version they did a couple of years ago, which Clint Eastwood directed, and I fell in love with it. It's a great story. It's a great film, and it's so much fun. Like I love the songs. I love um, Sherry and. I think it's a walk like a man is my favorite one, but I love the um, cry for me as well. It's got some good songs, and it's just like I just think it's really good. And the story about the boys as well is great. My next favorite one is something really recent. It came out this year. I think it was at like the beginning of this year or the end of last year, but it's a great show, and it's got Zac Efron and Hugh Jackman in it. If you hadn't guessed what I'm talking about, it is the greatest showman. Zendaya is also in it. I love the story. I love the music. I, I didn't. I was very late to watching it. I knew about it, but I didn't watch it until um the end of February. I was coming home one weekend, and the Friday before I was coming home, 
me and show quite people to watch the karaoke version and I didn't really know the songs so I was like yeah I'm gonna sing along to something I don't know the songs for um but I did listen to some music before going to watch it just so I kind of had an idea but I did fall in love with the show I fell in love with the story I fell in love with everything about it I love the idea of um circus and I love just love everything about it and I love watching Zach in a musical again like seriously it made my heart melt but it's definitely one of my favorite films so when it came out on DVD I made a beeline to the shop and bought it straight away because I needed it in my life so good so my next favorite one is another one that I don't think sounds surprising at all if I see so you know someone who loves musicals this is probably something on their list it's Les Mis, Les Miserables um yes it's Les Miserables or whatever you want to call it I can't say it Honestly, I've only seen the movie version with Anne Hathaway and Hugh Jackman and others in it. But either way, I love that film so much. I love it with... I can't... I watched it while I was doing revision. Now, it probably was a bad idea. It probably did distract me, but in my eyes, it helped me get through the revision. I loved it so much. And I would so watch it all over again and over again and over again. I love it. I love the music. I just love everything. Like, I can listen to the soundtrack over and over again. And if I stop halfway through the soundtrack in a day and I go back next day, I would restart with the soundtrack from the beginning. Because I'm like, no, I love it too much. The next one is what I said earlier. would probably be B, the one that no one is surprised about and most people can connect with, of loving when they were younger, is High School Musical. Now, so if someone tells me they do not like High School Musical, I'm just like, wait, what? And when people my age tell me they haven't watched it, I'm like, wait, what? It's such a classic. It's one of my favourite things. I love it so much. I genuinely do. And I know it sounds makes me sound so childish. I'm not saying it's childish. I'm just saying I'm being honest. I love the stories. I love the music. And it's the, thing, the reason I love it is it's probably the first ever film I loved when I was a kid. And I was 10. I think I was 10 when the first one came out. And I was genuinely obsessed as soon as I saw it. This was the first film I was like, I watched and I was like, realised I was into musicals, I was into acting, I was into performing myself. Like, this is when I was like, I want to be an actor. I want to be an actress when I'm older. Now, look, I know that's not probably not where I'm heading, but I'm not giving up on that dream. I still, I know I'm doing business at uni, but there's still the opportunity that like, could still happen. You don't know what the, you don't know where you're going to be in like five years' time or ten years' time. So I might still be an actress, you never know. But it was the first movie I watched and I was like, oh my god, I want this career. But I also do realise, remember thinking that High School Musical was a reality TV, reality film. I used to believe that Troy Bolton was a real person. It wasn't an actor playing a character. So, yeah. But then I realised, I soon got told by my mum that it's just an actor playing a character. I was like, oh, okay. But I still loved the film either way. Just realised there's probably no chance of me meeting Troy Bolton. But I love the story. I love it's like it's just one of those classical high school stories, you know. And it did remind me a lot about Glee. Like I'm pretty sure you can connect each character in High School Musical with one of the Glee cast characters. Like Sharpay is definitely Rachel Berry. Troy Bolton is definitely Finn Hudson. Chad Danforth is probably Noah Puckerman and the fact of that no I didn't see why performing was a big thing of what it was, you know? And you can go further into detail, but we'll leave it at that. Next one is Mamma Mia. Again, it is by far the most amazing musical I love. I, I, I watched. I love the story. I love how it's about a, girl, a lady called Donna who met three guys at different times, but I'm not sure which one is her daughter's dad's. And they all, and her daughter invites them all to her wedding. And. Well, things get a little bit complicated as you expect, but I love it. I love the story. I love the music. I literally just love watching it. I, it makes me always want to go. On, I always, always, always want to go on holiday. Every time I watch it, it just looks so nice out there. I'm just like, mm, I want a holiday now. Um, but it's really good. I love it, and I love Amanda Seyfried in it, and um, Meryl Streep and Dominic Cooper. Who else is in it? Someone who was in Harry Potter as well. I actually cannot believe I put. I actually did not know she was in my mirror. It took me a while to realise that was Harry Potter person. 
yeah well, so my last one is phantom of the opera now i'm not sure if that's actually something people expect phantom of the opera is a movie about kind of like phantom means like you can't see them and it's about um so but he lives pretty much inside this girl um this girl christine um this voice and literally it's very it's very complicated to explain i definitely would that's the problem i've seen it actually on west end it was one of those ones i knew i had to see and my best friend wanted to see it as well so we were like should we just go before i go to uni go and make sure we make book tickets and go watch it and i'm i do not regret getting tickets to go see it it was the best thing i ever did and I loved it so much. And when I wanted to see it, I was I was mentioned earlier. I sort of like loved this guy superstar with Ben and Ben Foster was in it. And the tour, the tour. I love Ben Foster like literally. He's one of my favorite West End performers. So when I knew when I and I knew he was a phantom and I knew he was in it. And I luckily knew he was performing that day. So when I saw him do Phantom, I cried like I nearly cried. I was like, oh my god, so good. He's such a good actor, and I loved it. So, I definitely recommend if you can get tickets for it, go watch it. It's such a good, impactful story. And for me, for someone who does not like opera music, it meant it must mean something. Anyway, I do hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave me some likes, leave some comments down below. Maybe your top five, ten musicals if you enjoy musicals. I know it's not something everyone loves. And please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and check out my blog and you know all that lot and follow my social media, my Instagram, my Twitter and I will see you again soon with another video and I hope you enjoyed. Bye!